Alright, so I got another quick tip for you guys today, and it's on 2009 to 2012 F-150s, and uh, this one's a 2011, and what that issue is, is they have a flashing trash control light, and, uh, and or ABS light, um, especially at lower speeds, and what it has to do with is the software in the RCM, which is the restraint control module, that is actually giving all the... Um, information to the ABS module. Now the way it is in a usual car is that there's a little cluster module that has all these yaw rate sensors and longitudinal sensors and all that built into it and that just kind of is placed in a strategic place in the vehicle mounted to the floor and then it feeds directly to the ABS module so that it has information for um, all those different inputs as far as how fast you're going and the pitch of the vehicle and all that. Now on this one, they decided when the redesign happened in 2009 was to integrate it into the restraint control module and then the restraint control module would feed the ABS module all its information. Well, those sensors are integral to the restraint control module. So you may go to a shop with this kind of concern, they go through the pinpoint test and it says if you have this uh, fault that you got to replace the restraint control module because the sensors are integral how can they go bad through circuitry or connectors it's all integral to the board so you must replace that well that's very 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 expensive and uh, if they don't know and you're not taking it to a dealer you may end up with a very big bill when in all reality there is actually a reflash out and it does apply the 09 to 2012 F-150s uh, I don't know why it took them that many years to uh, make the software uh, fix, but there is one out, and let's see if we can get it on the screen here. I lost the mouse. And basically what it is, is for codes C1278, which is for the steering angle sensor, and C1280 and 1282 for the... Um, for the yaw rate and longitudinal sensor and then there's 1963 which is the uh, the traction control inhibit warning light um, it's all those codes this reflash takes care of so if you go to an independent shop they're going to replace the restraint control module and they will fix the concern because the new ones from Ford are going to have the um, new software on them Whereas all you needed to do was go to the Ford dealer and pay half an hour's labor and have them reflash it. So you may want to do this as preventative maintenance. I know you shouldn't have to pay for this, but they should only charge you a half an hour and get this done so you had no issues when you're hauling trailers or on a road trip and you want to freak out uh, going for a long drive. You want your truck to just work, and um, I would definitely get this done if I own one of these trucks. Um, it's kind of scary when the ABS activates falsely, even at lower speeds. So I just wanted to get it out there, and uh, I know this is an old TSB for the 09s and 2012s, but this one has 44,000 some odd miles, and like I said, it's 2011, and it's just showing this uh, problem now. So uh, what is this, 2014, May? So it can happen at any time, and uh, it's still applicable to any of them out there that have not had this reflash done uh, to the latest software level.